Number 19, do exercise 3.16 again using analytical techniques and change the second leg of the walk to 25 meters straight south. Look, this is equivalent to blah, blah, blah. All right, so the figure on the right uh, represents the old figure where uh, we walked 18 meters uh, due west. Okay, so A here was really the 18 meters. And now instead of walking north here, we're gonna now travel south. So let me just actually draw that in the picture here. So now we're gonna travel south. I'm gonna cut through the words, whatever. So now this vector here is now going to be um, 25 uh, meters. And my resultant vector now would be simply, again, from the origin, connecting in a straight line distance to the end. All right, so this right here would represent my resultant. So what they want us to do is they want us to calculate, um, uh, they want us to calculate this resultant value as well as a directional component to it. So I realized I shouldn't have put my 18 in here. It might get a little crammed. So let me just write that on the top here. This was 18. Okay, so how do we solve for R? Well, take a look at the formulas here on the right-hand side. We can use this formula, right, where it says the resultant vector is equal to the square root of the sum of all the x components squared plus the sum of all the y components squared. Great. So what is the x component? Well, it's 18, but remember, it's in the negative x direction, so therefore it's negative 18 squared. And the y, it's 25, but remember, it's going south in the negative y direction, therefore it's negative 25. I should have really had point zeros each, there's three sig figs, but whatever. So now take the square root. So second square root of negative 18 squared plus 25 squared. So I'll keep it though with three sig figs because remember there should have been a point zero in here and a point zero. And I wound up doing it anyway. See, I can't even, I can't even not care. <laughs> okay, so we get a value of 30.8. Um, and that is in meters. So that's the resultant vector. Now, how do we describe the angle? Well, I'm gonna be looking at this angle right in here. Okay, I'll call this theta. Now, to solve that angle, let's do a tangent function, all right? So tan of that theta will equal the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the tangent of the angle will equal the opposite side of the angle, which was the 25 meters, right? That was the y. That's negative technically, but we're gonna take absolute values here and um, divided by the adjacent side, which was 18. Again, that's technically a negative because that's the, it's in the negative x, but just take the absolute value. So tan of theta now, even though negative divided by negative would have been positive, doesn't matter. So 25 over 18 is gonna be 1.39, so 1.39, and then theta now is going to be inverse tan of 1.39, 54.3. So we got a value of 50, oops, 54.3 degrees. Now, the only thing is before I conclude that that's the answer, I just have to, it's, that's the degree measure, but 54.3 degrees where? Well, we're measuring this angle off of the x-axis here. So I would call it 54.3 degrees south of uh, west, right? Because we're measuring it off of the west axis. Right, here's the origin, this is the west direction. And the resultant is south of it. Cool, okay, wonderful. So now that would conclude this first part. Now let's take a look at uh, part B. So now it says repeat again, wonderful. I did this problem about, I don't know, seven times. So <laughs> let's keep going. Repeat again, but now you first walk 25 meters north and then 18 meters east, all right. Let's just draw a coordinate system ourselves on the bottom left to represent letter B. There's the Y axis, there's the X axis. This is for letter B. Now it says walk first 25 meters north. Okay, great. So here's my 25 meters north. Let me label it 25 meters. Really it should be point oh, 25.0 and then walk uh, 18 meters east. So now we're gonna walk east. Great, and that's gonna be 18 meters. Okay, where's the resultant? Well, connect the starting point to the ending point. Here's the starting point right here. Here's the ending point. So just draw a line. 
nice triangle. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for that resultant. All right, so how do we find that? Well, we know all three, uh, excuse me, we know two sides, so we've got to find the third. You can use Pythagorean's theorem, the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm just going to use this already um, reworked and solved for c, essentially, Pythagorean's theorem. So sum of all the x's squared plus the sum of all the y's squared. So the resultant vector here should be equal to the square root of, now these are actually both positive in this case because they're the y component's in the positive y and the x component is in, is in the positive x. So this is simply going to be 18.0 squared plus 25.0 squared. So now just plug it into the calculator. We're going to get the same exact value, 30.8 meters. Okay, wonderful. Now, that's great. I got the magnitude. What's the direction? So I, I'm going to solve for this angle in here. Okay, so again, I'm going to use a tangent function for that. Opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of that angle, the opposite side of the angle, is 18. So 18 is going to go on the top. The adjacent side of this angle would be the 25. So 25 on the bottom. So we have tangent of... So 18 over 25, that comes out to be 0 0.72. And now do the inverse tan of that. Okay, so second tangent of 0.72. And we get a value of 30, 35.8. So 35.8. Okay, perfect. So that's my angle. I just gotta, shouldn't have boxed it in totally yet, right? Because I have to give now its directional component. So that's great. I got the degree measure, but relative to what? So this angle, I'm measuring it off of the northern axis, right? So I could say east of north. Okay, so it's 35.8 degrees east of north. And that would be now the full final conclusion there. All right. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Not too bad, especially if you've been doing the problems with me. Uh, this is, like I said, I, I think the seventh time we've done it. So I think it should be pretty clear at this point. All right, guys, remember to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.